What's good, y'all? Today, once again, we have the Dispute Crew, aka, we're gonna say the new name later on. We ain't gonna give y'all that right now. We're gonna leave that alone. But, welcome back, y'all. Another podcast mode, and we doing this thing for y'all. Today, we're talking about these god dang all the conspiracy theories spawning off of the corona craze. Um, we will be mentioning the lizard lady doctor. We will be mentioning um, other little loose studies in here that basically got everybody going crazy over just anything to get this virus out the way. But y'all know who he is. Top dot. Boy K. Y'all already know. Boy E. And Bud Light up in this thing. So y'all strap in. Get yourself ready. We're going to go ahead and take off, man. So, I know the first thing I wanted to get on was all the theories that's coming out now. Now, this is spinning off the the Dr. Lizard Lady. Because that's what I'm calling her, this whole podcast. Dr. Lizard Lady. Is she a chameleon? Uh, No, no. I wouldn't really say she's a chameleon. She probably is hiding the truth from people. So, she got a tail. What's she think? She got a nice tail? Ah, uh, yeah, you gotta I'm see sorry. for yourself on that one. All right, but she, the lizard lady doctor, also all of these other people that just coming out with these unfactualized studies of things. No fact checking. No fact checking. So we are gonna go ahead and rumble on all that now. One of the first conspiracy theories is lizard lady, lizard people in the government. Twelve million people, literally. 12 million people believe in that whole lizard people reptile. I'm going to say reptile because a lot of people will try to correct me and say, no, nah, she didn't say lizard people. She said reptile. Reptile, lizard people, either way it go, they, they both are the same family. You got you got um, conspiracy theories like that spawning off. You have what? What was another one that they was um, around? I used around? to catch alligators with my bare hands, but... No, well, ahead. people do that. Yeah, people I, actually do I've that. That's, I have done it. That's that's a real thing. But I can guarantee you, you've never had sex with a uh, a demon, right? No, sir. Okay, so I would say nay. So she is saying that it's an it's a, I a possibility I that different. you can have <laughs> sex with like a demon or demon sperm and all of this good stuff. So this Corona craze is it's starting to hit. I guess some of the most intelligent people. I understand, like, everybody want to cure for it. Um, people are trying to basically be the first person to say, yo, I got a cure for it. Um, look how I got the cure for it. This is what I did. This is how I did it. But people also got to understand different strokes for different folks is a much, in this case, it can be considered a medical term because different, different type of body uh, structures, different type of body formats, different type of uh, drugs they can ingest and stuff that their body reject. Like you got some people who can't take Tylenol, but um, they can get what, bear, bear or something like that and same be totally stuff. fine. Even though it's the same stuff, but they might have a different chemical in one brand versus the other brand. They can still use it. Uh, so that's like different stuff for different folks. Was well, that kind of like I'm allergic to Gabe? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, I'm fuck you like, then if you're allergic to me. I stupid. It's Stay yeah. away from me. But yeah, yeah. It's like he is like he being allergic to gay. Let's say I only tolerate him, I don't ingest him. <laughs> but, I hope not. At That's all. Yeah. I hope not. But <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, yeah. Just like that. Like how my how my two co hosts saying, like, let's say if he was actually because it is actually people that are allergic to other people like the skin follicles and hair follicles and stuff but other people can probably you know what i mean i mean i'm good okay. i'm i'm a warrior but <laughs> oh, oh people, no, no. you know we, what i'm saying we, we definitely allergic to fucking uh eric adler but we have to <laughs> we have to deal with it <laughs> it's just like this epidemic we have to deal with man pick your ass up <laughs> Shout out to me. Go the yeah. other way. <laughs> but um, it, through, throughout this this epidemic, man, um, um, a lot of things like that has been popping up. It's been a lot of disinformation going on, and it's been a lot of um, false, you know, what I'm saying false doctrines 
being it has, spit out. It has, you know what I'm saying? It has been a lot. And I can concur on that because, uh, you know, these so called claim doctors, which they really are, if you look up the facts yeah. and stuff like that. But yeah, they I'm just speaking on uh, what if you was born in the 80s and past the 70s and stuff like that, and you're still current now, you actually seen the motivation behind media. All yeah. right. So that could actually. Uh, Broaden your horizon, or it could make actually blind it from the actual truth because you have to be sending false narratives. You got to decipher uh, what's real, what's not, even on the internet. Everything might seem yeah. like it's real, but you really have to decipher yeah. a lot of things. Right, and they make it so complicated, it's like deciphering hieroglyphics. Exactly, like it's like reading an unknown language, <laughs> like you actually know that unknown language. But um, that's what we're saying. Like, I, all three of us in, is in agreement when we say this. We are really tired of the narrative being pushed that if um, that you're so weak, you won't survive this thing. And that's a lot of that's narr- that narrative has been pushed by a lot of media outlets. It's like it's fear mongering, but it's fear mongering at a lower level than what they do. Uh, mostly, you know, they mostly fear monger with the war aspect of things. Oh, the country's gonna come over here and shoot missiles at us and tear our whole democracy up. They Kim get you Jung, with that. Kim Jong Un. Yes, oh. him exactly. You get you get folks like that. I don't know but, about you, but I'm afraid of that little cat. That little dude, he's just so angry. No, I'm not. That little dude is so angry. He, to me, he just he just one of those kids. He is a kid that was told you can't have that, and he was like, you know what? I'm going to get this. And this he's, a spoiled, get he's a spoiled little brat. Is oh, all he is. Where's that, bro? That, that, in, that inherited a, a, a kingdom. What a, oh, what a, what a clown. What are you eating? Yeah, we already know. The Hold secret. On. We ain't going to tell the secret to that. I hit, is that a missile? Yeah. 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 I hear one. I probably hear one. Don't worry about it. Worry about it. But, y'all, uh, that's what we're saying. Like, it's, it's media outlets out there that's pushing narratives. Like, yo, listen, if y'all had a comic cold before... Um, go get yourself checked out because it might be the COVID. Somebody say, oh, you twisted your ankle? Go get checked out. It might be COVID. You know, I understand that this... They got us running for the hills. Yeah, this virus is is serious, but... um, Well, let's... Can I... Listen, okay, this virus... No, go ahead, Dion. This this virus is real serious, right? Yeah. It's serious as hell. I kid you not. This is the first time we ever seen this shit, as far as my eyes is concerned, here in the United States. But we didn't take these certain measures when it came to other viruses that landed here and wiped out millions of fucking people. AIDS. Yeah. One of them. AIDS. (laughs) AIDS. AIDS. You got the swine flu. We're not even talking about, let's not even get into the flu epidemic because that's even crazier. Yeah, let's not get into the fact that we don't AIDS. I I don't even know. That was supposedly came from a green monkey. I ain't never yeah. seen no damn green monkey at all. But right. they didn't tell us anything, right? It's like, it, it, this is going along the same narrative that we're talking about right now. With this, yeah, I call it the corona craze. It's because everybody is stuck in the house. People have not been out in amongst um, a thorough group of different people in the last four to almost five months. You ever heard of cabin fever? Yeah, most of America has cabin fever right now because we've been stuck in our houses being people that perfected crabs a hundred times over because they've been stuck <laughs> in their house a whole damn day long. Oh, Look at me. Much. God dang, I wasn't doing what I'm doing right now with the videos, but I've been stuck in the house so much that I got damn became a professional video editor. What's this about crabs? Crap? We or what did you say? I, I saw you said crap. See, he's talking oh, about his, he, he's talking <laughs> fine about that's his my line. That's my oh, that's right. He's an answer. I'm the air. I'm an, I'm an Aries. I'm the Ram, baby. Answer. I get the crab. I get that. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. okay. But yeah, see, I'm a Pisces, so I slither. He's a fish. Yeah, Pisces fish. How you slither? You a fish? He's slithering through the water. <laughs> Bet you're slithering. No, he swim through the water. He don't slither through the oh, water. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> and they're all they're all they're all slippery and scaly. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, I'm you not a snake. What? I'm a fish. <laughs> you know fish. what? I, I recognize you now. Last time I saw you, you had a hook in your mouth. See, he flowed through there. He, oh. Gabe trying to say he flowed through it. He, you, you said you were. Um, I'm an Aries. I'm the Ram, baby. See? He, Coming at you. He gonna give it to you. He gonna put his horns 
Oh, He'll oh, give you oh, that oh, crayon. Crayon. What you, you crayon? Crayon. Uh -huh. He gonna, he gonna Tony, give you that Tony Baker. Baker he give you that crayon. Uh -huh. Me, I'm the crayon. I'm gonna <laughs> latch on to you until you be like, yo, what can I do to get you off me? I'm be like, learn. And now let go. But y'all know nothing about that. But see, this Corona craze got everybody going super stupid, which is another point I want to bring. You know, if I had to write it down, y'all, y'all know me, man. I well, ain't gonna tell you what I be doing. Okay, while you're looking that up, I'm a little bit confused. You know, I, I got confused last time because we were talking about, you were talking about gun rights, and I thought you said gum rights, and I went for Hubba Bubba and Bubblicious. I wrote all my notes, you know, but, you know, this, this time you're saying you're talking about, you know, the coronavirus. Yeah. I'm confused again. All my notes are messed up. I thought he said we were talking about Miley Cyrus. Right. And I'm like, all right, so I'm having to switch gears midstream. I'm sorry, folks. You know what, Miley? Hey, you know, just to deter from that real quick, I want to say something about my mind. So it's back. coronavirus. You know, okay. it's, it's almost kind of related. Miley Cyrus, Miley Cyrus, and the way she has switched back and forth between um, <laughs> my <voice goes> personas, <laughs> he yeah. is almost like these coronavirus theories. Miley Cyrus, <laughs> coronavirus. Did you see how I got confused? You know what I'm saying? Where I, I have something, you know, it's, it's, I don't know. I got, a, I got a communication okay. breakdown. Okay, I fucked with, e. I, I fuck with E on that one. That was a nice segue into into what I'm finna say, too. Because I'm just saying, not Miley Cyrus, I'm sorry. You're not anywhere near related to the coronavirus. I'm just saying, the way that you switch freaking uh, personas, you're sort of like... The coronavirus theories because every other day we got a new one but that segue into the very next thing i'm talking about is how many people actually have ramped up the force in which they are spreading all of this stuff without researching like people research you know how I, and i never believed this until now people will not research something that goes against the narrative that they're talking about People will research anything that goes with, with every narrative they're talking about. And usually when that happens, that means that what they're looking at and they don't want to uh, acknowledge is usually 50% to 100% true. Because sometimes it could be, you know what I mean? Sometimes it could be neglected and, and switched and um, basically tampered with. But let's say... I would rather listen to a local gazette versus like the New York Times or the Washington Post. Say, the only reason I'm saying that is because local, local folks usually get down to the dirt of things. They go, they ask people questions. They the ones staking out at nighttime trying to find a story. The major syndications, they just send out some little flunky and say, hey, you go get the bare minimum of what you can get, and we gonna spin whatever we can spin on. And they spin it like crazy. Like, God almighty. Freaking crazy. That's why you have so much distrust in the media right now, because stories like this, this, this coronavirus, a lot of people aren't too sure about their future, because now their job's gone forever, because a lot of small business owners then had to um, up and leave, because their business can't survive, because you got um, people in Washington that's like, no, we're not going to get these people help. We like got people that's like, yo, get these people help. Like, like they tucked away eight billion dollars in coronavirus funds for military reasons. Mm. Now, see that eight million dollars could have went toward a city or toward um a vaccine. I, I mean, I beg to differ uh -oh. on that. Okay. Um, we actually got to give salute to who is the armed forces and people in the front line. Mind you. Doctors. It's, it's people that get fucking oh, nurses. No, they, they get, get, they get sent out every fucking they day. Pops. And they they guess they what? They work for United States of America. They and don't control the narrative, though. They don't, but at the same time, what we're talking about is if they was giving eight billion dollars to whoever the forces may be. We actually can't look at that because you know, we, these people actually no, we, need we that have, money too. No, it's the well known. We have a bloated military already. They have more than coronavirus. Enough, they get they get billions of funds a year. Like that eight million dollars that they took could have been passed on to doctors. Well, you look at the economy. It's also, a little bit of a vaccine. Yeah, 
Look yeah. at the economy and what this shit struck. So you got to take it into what the government is doing into some type of questionability of a doubt that they're going to do what they're supposed to do. No, because yeah, that's, but that's, at the same time, we know we all know, like you know, what I'm saying eight billion dollars towards debt is not it's when not we got a. It's a lot of money, and then we got this fucking deficit to think about it. When all this is said and over with, what the price tag is going to be on America after that? Because wow. it's going to be a whopping fucking price, and how are we going to get over that? Like, Three or four trillion right now, but that's, you, you well, know what I'm saying. I mean, that ain't because of the virus. Well, I don't even know. It, totally, it, it, totally it is. It is. It is. Everything is now. It's because of the fucking coronavirus. They facing every fucking shit right now for COVID nineteen. Well, that was three three trillion just recently, but I mean yeah. that drive that drives up the national debt yeah. to like twenty two, twenty three, twenty four trillion. Printing money. Yeah, printing money. It's just a shit. Yeah. Reach reach a hundred trillion. And our our future generations because it keeps growing. It keeps growing. Dearly, yeah, we got it, it keeps going. We're not my gonna, grandson gonna have to pay for that. Listen, who's and to his say, grandson's grandson? Yeah, I guarantee who's to say, you that. and his son. Oh, we, they, they want us. This, this Let's not leave out the ladies. Sorry, love you. Yeah, yeah, okay. Everybody's gonna God get paid. God knows we love the ladies. Yeah, but listen, we can't to wait say, to have one on when, the show. When the fuck is this shit gonna be over with? Can't nobody have a fucking actual date? No, because when the shit. This is something new. It's not like the. Can I get an actual date? Yeah. I don't fucking know. <laughs> hey, hit him up. He's single. I'm single, folks. Hit him up. Come on, ladies. Ladies. Y'all, y'all Come on we, ladies. Y'all see what we trying to do, man? We're trying to take a situation that's bogging everybody down and kind of basically lift it up and be the punching gloves of hope and, and hit it in his face mm-hmm. to let people know that, listen, we know what's going on out here. Everybody knows that the government is not, is not the most trustworthy people. You can't believe 95% of what they say, but that other 5% that is actually, you can prove scientifically, you have to believe what you can prove with your own eyes, ears, and hands. You get, listen. Speaking of hands, that sounds like a put it in the middle moment. I put it in the middle. Put moment. it in the middle moment right here. Right there with it. So, it's like, a, like only thing we got to do is remember, you know how to keep yourself safe. Keep yourself safe. Yeah, you know yes. how to avoid confrontation. Avoid confrontation. Don't let nobody else who's saying, "Hey, you don't have to wear a mask if you go in there." If you feel comfortable wearing a mask, wear a mask. If you don't feel comfortable wearing a mask, don't wear a mask. What you don't do is you don't weaponize that, and then you go against other people and start bashing um, them across the head with your uh, affiliations or with your uh, way of thinking. So we're we're educated and uh, adult big boys and girls out here. Exactly. Exactly. You ain't got to go out here and, and get the... We're not um, government figureheads. No. We're coming at you local right here. I mean, this is... This, this is and the na- na- this is the neighborhood, and this, I don't. And we, I'm, uh, we're trying to. We're, we're we're every one of us. Yeah, you know and not I mean? only that, we're doing this for the kids, man. This ain't for the grown folks, no, man. Grown no, folks absolutely. should know no, good, man. To freaking wear your mask, yeah. and wash your hands we're for the kids, and man. do it for the uprising, which is the future, which yeah, is the little ones, kids. Man. It's not about us right now. It, no, it's not. That's it's really about. We're not that kids, important right man. now. We are basically we right now. We fodder. We ornaments. We didn't had our time. You know what I'm saying? Most of our time is not over yet. But we didn't had our time to super shine. Like I was a, I'm an 80s baby. Eric's probably like what a 70s? A 70s baby. He's a 70s baby. My boy Gabe. He's an 80s baby. We both we are, we were both born before the millennium happened. So we got a good vision of how progression works. Because we went through, Eric went through the 70s. 80s, 90s, now in the millennium. Me, 80s, 90s, now the millennium. That's 30 years. E, 80, I mean, Gabe, sorry. <laughs> Gabe, 80, um, 80 90s, 90s, now the millennium. So millennium. now we all sat back and we've been able to watch what? The presidencies of Ronald Reagan, uh, Richard Nixon. I was born when Lyndon B. Johnson. Lyndon, Lyndon B. Johnson. Johnson. You, know, you, know, you know what's an interesting fact? You might not know, and this is on a very serious note here. But I was born on April 3rd, 1968. Now, we know what happened on April 4th, 1968. One of the great ones. It was the assassination, right? Yes, yeah. Sir. Yeah. Assassination. One of the great Martin ones. Martin Luther King Jr. Yeah. One, one of the great ones. One of the great ones. Okay, rest in peace. 
so yeah, we you got we we got stuff like that. Um, well, we have a good insight of what we've been through. We've been through plagues. We've been through. I went through AIDS. Listen, I went through the AIDS virus. Well, you're from Kalamazoo, Michigan. I'm from yeah. South Florida. I went through hurricanes, major ones, like See? Hurricane Andrew, Providence, Rhode Island, and Orlando, Florida. All my life, man. Yeah, we had one tornado. Well, we had a couple of tornadoes in Kalamazoo. It wasn't that many because it's a valley, so. Not too many tornadoes come through there, but we had a few. But we we done went through basically economic danger, which has been the the, the shutdown of um, what ninety nine or two thousand when when the economy was super bullshit and it got shut down. Uh, well, I went um, through the we we all went through the whole two thousand thing when everybody uh, thought two K man Y two K that's what they called yeah. it. I was Y2K. looking for that. They thought, yeah. oh, all the computers are going to crash, huh. and we're going down, huh. and I don't know, wait for the year 2000. Oh, when plus, Jesus what was going to come. Mm-hmm. What was it, the Mayans in 2012 when on the Jesus Mayan went. calendar, the world was supposed to implode or something uh, like uh, that? Yeah, that didn't happen. Y'all know who? Y'all know who who's, the sheep out, who's the sheep out there that believe that crap? They was Not me. You know, you know who? You know who actually fixed that? Bill Gates. There you go. Came through and fixed the entire thing within ten minutes. Interesting. No lie. He I didn't switched, know that. He switched the entire programming and made it to where the, the program would be responsive to uh, years past 1999. Uh-huh. See, nobody knew that. The other folks didn't know that. Everybody was going crazy because you remember the government was on Bill Gates' head for billions and billions of dollars. He told them if you guys basically. Y'all just let me come in, solve the Y2K thing, and y'all can relieve that little billion dollars or whatever y'all want from me, then that's it. You worked out a deal, and they, they said right before it was like 11 something uh, to the day, it was like 11 50 something to where he boom, and stopped everything. Because actually, the computers were going to shut down. Uh, the, the, the major computer, the one that controls. Uh, the majority of our weapon systems, the major security systems, some kind that of super computer in yes. like Area 51 that or was something going, like that. Gone. Who knows? I it don't know. Gone. Where is this supercomputer? I don't know. It's in, like you said, it's, in, it's part of Area 51 and it's in the CIA building. They have one in the CIA building. They got like a couple supercomputers. <laughs> one is in the CIA building, most definitely. They flew him out to the CIA building and had him come in there personally and stop him. Wow. Because nobody else could. Because he was one he was one of the most guys a lot of the advanced ones. I gotta leave out the <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, y'all, with with this corona thing, man, like like me, E and Gabe were saying, sometimes when you are sitting up here listening to everything that sounds good, you're gonna intercept it like it's it's truth. But you got to stop and be like, wait, hold on. Do I really want to listen to a lady that just said that you get physical ailments that were proven scientifically by your own body? You're actually going to believe a lady that say, hey, you were asleep and you had sex with a, a witch. And now you have... That would be more sex than I've had recently. <laughs> well, I know you probably wouldn't want to have one with no no sun. No, 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 no. It witch. reminds me of like the Wizard of Oz, the Wicked Witch of the West. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mess with that hook nose, that green lady. That I don't know what. Hook, I don't know what. Green lady. Ooh. Oh, no. But yeah, like it, it's like that. Like we have people going out here that are throwing frisbee conspiracy theories. Like people just know that people will cling on to anything right now. And so, when's the last time you threw a good frisbee? Nobody does that anymore. We're walking around with our heads and our cell phones. Get outside the house and throw a frisbee, man. Yeah. Barnett Park is a good park to throw frisbee. Damn it. I remember that used to be a really good uh, Frisbee's awesome. Too. Yeah, like you used to be able to, plus a build up arm strength. But just like we saying, like um, some of my last little points toward this corona thing, and I really wanted to, I'm glad I didn't. I talked it out because I was going to try to jump on that lady neck, but I'm going to leave that lady alone. But what I will say <laughs> about you what, Dion was vibing prior to the show today, and uh, I, I tell you, he, but I think we brought it up, and I think, uh, you know, I think we actually brought Dion up a little bit too, it seems to me. Yeah, that it seems to me it was something good to get off your chest, really. Yeah, because that damn, that, that would bother me, man. That damn lizard lady, Dr. Emanuel, was. That shit just don't make no sense because my girl got endometriosis and it's not because she had sex with no demon. Um, it's 
estrogen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's something scientific or physical. And for her to be a physician going around saying that type of stuff, that's not good. Plus, if folks didn't know that that lady has already been sued for misdiagnosing somebody anyway, and that caused death. So, I'm not listening to no lady who misdiagnosed uh, a patient and they end up dying. Plus, right. through the grapevine, when we heard that the doctor who said she she basically healed 300 people, um, most of them, and it, this has been documented, but the rumor mill, and what's floating in the rumor mill is that the people that she did heal were all kids, and she gave them like very, very little uh, doses of the drug, and which I drug? guess it worked, um, the hydrochloric, the hydroxychloroquine, you know, yeah, the hydroxychloroquine, okay. and that thing has been floating around, like everybody's been going around, floating around talking about that, but to me, I'm, some people say it caused cardiac arrest. Some people say it don't. Well, um, like that doctor said today, and we're not promoting this on Facebook at all. No, we're not promoting. Um, they've been trying to give it like in higher doses. And what this doctor today said that taken in lower doses, it helps. maybe only once or twice a week. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm no expert. God knows I'm no doctor. I'm Neither. the doctor of love. Yeah. But I ain't getting no love right now from the ladies. But I'll tell you what, that's going to change soon. In any event, let me tell you, if you don't mind, Dion, I, I do want to give a shout out in this, you know, on a serious note. You know, we got a lady, a beautiful lady, and, uh, you know, right where we live right here. Her name is Lauren, and she just underwent some uh, surgery. And Much she got eight, Miss Lauren. eight yeah, lymph man. nodes removed. Right Miss Lauren. She's had some, uh, you know, parts of her lung taken out. And then, you know, when she got home, she uh, actually contracted shingles. But I just want to give a big shout out to Lauren because she's about as sweet as cherry pie. And uh, okay. she's probably going to be tickled that yeah. she's going to go worldwide now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Look Lauren, we love you. And I'm really looking forward to coming over and seeing you today and meeting your daughter. And uh, yeah, see, I got, hey, you see, never know. She could be, Lauren, she could be my future ex-wife. Who you. knows? But I'm going to come over and see you, sweetie. And I love you. And we all love you. You really had to hit her with a cherry pie? Yeah, cherry well, pie. I, I'll tell you what she reminds me of. Because she she actually reminds me of like a... She, you know, she's like... I'm talking about Lauren, the actual pie of the song. Lauren reminds... She, she was actually an actress like back in the day and things like that. She's still got... I don't know. She's just got a great and wonderful attitude. And she's a very instrumental person in my life. Yes, That's is. very close to me. And she's I just love great, her to death. She's a great And person. she's like the embodiment of uh, she just reminds me a little bit of Shirley Temple she's about as cute as as, as uh, you know as cute as cute can be so I love right you there. and I can't wait to see you a little bit later on this evening sweetie I love we'll, you we'll salute to I that see I don't mind I don't mind giving a little we'll, we'll salute to that I don't mind uh, go. I don't mind saying that cheers cheers Probably Lauren you know leg. you know the toast here's the swimming with bow legged women yeah I don't mind I don't mind that's love right there you know what I'm saying? And her lip noise wasn't caused by no damn demon sex. And none of that other stupid mess that they keep Crazy. talking about, man. But demon sex. my only thing is, <laughs> the only reason I'm going to get that about because... demon sex, what is that, from The Exorcist or something? Nice. I, I didn't, I didn't, stupid, I swear to God, I didn't mate with Linda Blair, man. No, to me, but there, y'all, that this little shit like that, no, man, because I got people that actually are dealing with that stuff right now, and these maybe cures or hey try this type stuff that's not gonna work out for people that's actually going through what they're going through right now so if any of these goddamn doctors get with other doctors once you have enough doctors who are of different gener who are different ethnicities different generations all saying the same thing at once then we'll go ahead and take the cure but until then we're not finna take no goddamn bleach. We're not finna be injecting Lysol. No. We're not finna be taking these other Be drugs. smart, people, please. Yeah, we're not finna be taking these other foreign shit that they put in your bodies. And most of these people thinking that some of these drugs you ingest is basically going to implant RD, uh, RDIF chips inside you. So you got all type of stuff like that. Just if you got a physician, you had a broken leg. He said, yo, you got a broken leg. I'm going to give you a splint and a cast. And that worked for you, I would trust that doctor when he tells you that it's lizard people out here and he's going to give you some alien um, DNA or some alien medicine to help you overcome some ailment. 
You should immediately tell that doctor, listen, I'm going to change my insurance company. You, I'm going to report you to somebody that you need to be known about. And you're a quack. Yeah, and whoever else is around you and why, been why? diagnosed by you, they should go ahead and go to a real doctor because you are out your god dang mind. Got so, in mind. People, Say it, Gabe. stop going around here. One, stop going around here, leaving everything without researching. You don't have, it's not just one avenue you can research. Do your homework. Get a whole bunch of information together and see what the main theme is of all of the information that you got. That's usually the truth. And trust your own instincts. Put, yes. faith, put more faith in yourself. Stop it. Stop worrying you know? about people out here that, who are paid off your ailments and who are paid off um, hope that they can cure you. Because some people aren't that honest and they going to take advantage of that. So just to all my people, stop going out here with this goddamn. Um, stop sharing all this false information unless For you've real. done thorough research on that. For real. Because if some people die because of you, just know they can come after you for that. That's information that you're putting out there. You're basically putting out um, murderous intent. And people are looking at you like, are you totally stupid? Do you know that this has been used against you in the court of law? It has been. So, everybody going out there trying to play doctor, if you're not a doctor, stop trying to play doctor. If you're not a nurse, stop trying to play nurse. If you're not anywhere near a physician, shh, you don't need to be telling people what the fuck to take because it's too many kids, it's too many women, it's too many men out here that have died off that disease because you idiots don't know what the hell y'all talking about. And then we got to save the old folks too. Yeah, absolutely. Bad. Y'all trying to euthanize them with that Those shit. Those are the ones that have been mostly dying. And yeah. the other thing is, and I know we're running a little bit short on time, Dion, but, uh, you know, it's amazing to me that, you know what, they're making more money on keeping cancer around. Can you believe they don't have a cure for cancer? Come on now. Really? The thing about it is they do, but it costs a lot. Mm-hmm. Arm and That's leg. just terrible, bro. So yeah, we gonna we gonna switch from the 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 cyber move. Pay attention to your surroundings. Listen to your own intuitions, like my man E said, like Gabe said. Stop listening to what people are telling you and research yourself. And also, if you if you decide believe in, to, and believe in yourself and trust your instincts, your own gut. Trust your own gut because your body gonna let you know what's wrong and what's right. Not nobody else. You feel what you feel. Nobody else does. You so know, y'all. There's, there's how many drugs wait, are out wait, there? Wait, there's wait, a million wait. drugs out there. Do we really need them all? But, hold, yeah. on, hold on, hold on. Not getting off the subject. Uh, Dion was gonna uh, enlighten y'all on the new name. Before, oh, yeah, yeah. Before we go, oh, sorry about that. What do we got? Now that we, and now that we done with with most of that, new name, ladies and gentlemen. If y'all make it to the end of this podcast, <clears throat> our new name. For the podcast, not Dots View anymore. We're going in the next upcoming week or two. I'm going to switch it and format it and get it all out there. Awesome, this but is new to me. Nerdies with intelligence. Awesome. So now you got instead of Dots View crew, you got Nerdies with intelligence. And, and ladies, I, I, said it, I, I said it in a previous podcast. Ladies, you know what they say about hey. nerds. You know what they say about I don't nerds. know how to, I can't do like a hand sign. I was going to try to make up a hand sign. I can't, can't make up no hand sign. But it's NWI, y'all. NWI. Nerdies with intelligence. Nerds with intelligence. We here. No, nerdies. Nerdies. Yeah, nerdies with intelligence. Nerd yeah. Yeah, with intelligence. With intelligence. Or if you by yourself, it's and somebody nerd. be like, what you rubbing? It's nerd. Nerd. You know, with it's nerdy or nerdies. If you in the group, nerdies with intelligence. Since we in the group, it's nerdies. But if y'all by yourself solo, and they be like, what you listening to? Like, I'm just a nerdy listening to nerdies with intelligence. So yeah, y'all get that. Until then, y'all, we are going to tiptoe out of this young podcast. Y'all enjoy yourself. We're going to put enjoy ourselves. Game. Put it in, baby. We're going to enjoy ourselves. We love you. That's it. We love you. We can't wait to see you again. We out. We're coming back and we're staying. This time.